Hey Libra, how you doing? I'm going to be doing your reading here for end of February. And we're going to get right into it. Keep in mind these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone. And uh, let's see. Let's see what we got going on for Libra. Apologies if the table shakes here, but um, got the mount hooked up to that. And the first card that comes out is the Palace of Swords. So, you know, this is your energy. It's your environment here. You know, you, I feel like that you've maybe worked on a situation or or maybe changed some things here in your home environment um, to kind of really go within you know just have some time to think here okay um, let's see the page of swords this is your energy again um, but also comes up as your challenge and it's a page so you could be dealing with another air sign um, for some of you guys or maybe someone younger uh, for others of you i feel like that you know you just you have this this uh, energy of something's missing here you know it's just like an energy of um, um, needing to go within and then just kind of trying to get things going but having a hard time having a having some difficulties moving forward here let's see in your focus I have the nine of coins so I do see that um, you are focusing on your independence your financial stability it is Virgo energy as well let's see your recent past I have the palace of wands all right so I feel like there's a change of environment or maybe you um, have changed this or wanting to change an environment um, but whatever the case is the palaces are all about environment okay and you have the fire element wands uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius and then you have the swords um, so in your recent past here maybe you were in some sort of environment it could be a family environment your household whatever it is even work environment okay that was a little bit too much for you there's a lot going on a lot of commotion um, you know fire energy is all about like maybe things are moving very fast for you um, and kind of need, needing a time of uh, a rest a break okay and that's kind of why i see you here in this palace of swords energy kind of taking some time to think things through here let's see possibilities what do we got for going on for libra we have the magician that comes up here so you're definitely manifesting you have a focus on nine of coins you're in the magician energy trying to manifest something here for yourself near future though i see the eight of swords gemini energy okay so let's see what that's all about here you are either missing somebody or thinking of someone some someone um you know something in your head here that you've been kind of letting it get to you let's see in your feels what's going on i have the ace of coins a lot about a lot of focus on money uh so libra i don't know if you're looking for a new job or you're looking at starting something new in terms of a business setting um but you you're stressed out all right so there's a little bit of stress going on here and that's why i'm I pulled back here about trying to trying to think things through your energy is kind of like um taking some time out okay um, because money is a big big thing here independence uh you know financial independence if you're with somebody you're just trying to be financially independent in general the ace of coins tells me that um, you are focusing on something larger for yourself um and you know there's a potential of having something pretty big here so there's there's potential but the only thing holding you back here is this eight of swords this worriness um you know this is again this gemini energy back and forth type of energy here um in your environment here we have the five of cups so scorpio energy the five of cups here tells me that you you've been focusing on things that don't serve you and you're kind of not seeing the cups behind you this could be friends family um you know just in general your situation um you know appreciate where you're at right now that's really what i'm seeing from this card really enjoy or at least be appreciative of what you have then rather than what you've lost okay and that's hard to do depending on your situation you know there's very difficult to kind of forget some situations um uh, but you know it, it's telling you that you do have more support you have love there for you okay um let's see hopes and fears for libra i have the wheel okay so something is turning in your favor here we have the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck so it does tell me here that um some sort of clarity is coming for you the wheel is turning in your favor so whatever in your mind right now i do feel like there is going to be a change but in this process here i feel like you're going to start looking at a different perspective of what's there for you which kind of moves the wheel here um, forward okay potential outcome for you 
I have the Ten of Cups. See that? So the Ten of Cups tells me there is a, you know, if it's a family situation, emotional situation, things are going to get good for you. Really, really good. You have the Nine of Coins, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Coins. Okay. And then the magician sitting over there tells me that you are in this manifestation um, energy. And you're making the changes necessary, okay? So if anything, I think that towards the end of February, it's more about just kind of um, clearing your mind. That's really what it is, you know? This is what I see from this reading. It's clearing your mind, taking some time out, really evaluate, um, you know, what, you're, what you've been doing. Um, Palace of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So you have, you know, three different environments. One's being emotional, one being fiery, one being in your head. And I feel like that it's like moving towards loving yourself more um, and kind of, again, realizing what you have around you. And this could be well as friends, family. Um, but I feel like the emotional, if you're feeling very uh, lost or lonely or even people around you, but you don't feel like fulfilled, I feel like that's going to change for you. OK, um, let me just get a couple of clarifiers. And because um, it really is what I want to see is this eight of swords, because um that's kind of what's really weighing in this reading. The Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups. What's going on here? Um, for Libra, I have the Empress. All right. So we have the Empress and then the Nine of Wands. So, you know, you're really just holding back on... My nose is itching like crazy. All right. So you're you're holding back on your own your own power. You know your value, you know? It's like you know your value, but you still have boundaries up here. You still kind of trying to protect your energy when in when in fact that you're in your power like no one can really disrupt you um, but you're just having these up and down roller coasters and it could be emotional roller coasters it could be just overthinking and just really doubting yourself negative thinking negative patterns um, but you know be be assured here with the six of wands there's victory here for you you just kind of have to go out and get it you have to kind of you have to let it loose a little bit okay libra um, and, and don't worry too much, you know, um, and of course you got to worry on certain situations, but I'm trying to say is don't worry so much to where you're not, you're unable to move, you know, that's the other thing too. Let's see. What is this five of cups all about? Wow. The emperor and then the four of swords and then the lovers there. So you could be dealing with an Aries, um, or maybe just somebody here, uh, because I feel like empress and emperor so there's somebody here that you're thinking about um someone that you see that you know has been vibing at your level or you feel like there's a good connection um i don't see that you guys are talking to this person i feel like this person is actually taking some time out taking a break here okay or just needing to recharge their their batteries as well so i feel like both of you guys are kind of working through something but with the lover's card over here it does tell me that there's a connection, okay? So there's a deep connection between you two. I just feel like there's a certain separation that needs to happen. So you can kind of work on your thing. They can work on their thing. And then there's a coming together possibly here with the Ten of Cups, okay? And then we have the devil underneath there. So see, and these cards, the devil and the lovers, is, you know, it's, it's similar. You know, it's kind of connected. But um, the lovers is all about a divine connection. The devil is... Something that you 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 keep thinking about too is it's like an excessive thought, and this might be your person that you're thinking about, but somebody here is just overthinking about a situation, or maybe there's some negative habits, there's some shadow work that needs to be done, and maybe this is both of you guys because we have the lovers and the devil. Maybe the emperor and the empress need some time apart so they can kind of work on their own situations and then come back in. But then you got to look at this: the ten of cups and the ten of cups. So both of you guys are coming together. So. Whatever it is, you guys are coming together. It's just that you have to kind of go through um, certain certain lessons here. Certain you have to overcome certain uh, obstacles. Okay, so I mean, not a not a bad bad reading here. So I feel like there's going to be some changes. Um, I feel like you are making these changes uh, into getting this wheel moving forward, and things are going to look pretty nice here. And you know, I feel like more into March, but. Um, but I think you're going to start feeling the changes here towards the end of, end of February. Um, and not to mention the Ace of Coins. Keep an eye out for a bigger, you know, a big opportunity coming your way. Okay. Um, let me get you guys a Oracle on that and then we'll close it out. But nice. Overall, nice reading here. Um, if you are feeling kind of down and out, Libra, uh, just, you know, be, you know things are going to change. You're going to be surprised.
how fast things change here for you. Uh, we have priorities. Number 30 is your card. We'll leave that right there, and hopefully you can see it. Um, let's see, number 30, what do we got? So, let's see here. So, make the most of your time. Every day is a gift. You have the option to make the most of what life is offering you. If you long to create organization in your life, you will benefit from prior, uh, prioritizing. Your ideals determine what you will seek in life. Your priorities are most visible in how you use your time. Ganesha is holding the water lily as an emphasis or is emphasizing the importance of your value. He encourages you to know that you what you truly want, what makes you the happiest. There are always blessings that will that may not be apparent in the midst of disappointment. Okay? Um, so that is your reading, Libra. I hope this resonated. And if you do, hit the like, subscribe if you have not already. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.